What is going on guys? Welcome back to another SaltWise video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing and giving somewhat of some history on the Penn Senator 113H Special 4 Rod Senator High Speed. Reel is super hard to find online. What I mean by that, there's not a lot of info about this reel. So I had to dig deep on this reel and I got most of my information from a parts website that sells parts for this reel and they have reel schematics on this reel by pen and they have an owner's manual and you can go to their website and download all that stuff they have some history on this reel they have the specs all you got to do is just click the link down in the description and if you have any kind of thing that you remember about this reel or if you had this reel and you remember something about it make sure to comment down below so to first start off we need to go back to the very beginning of pen and Penn's, one of their first reels that they've ever came out with is the Penn Senator, came out in 1936. Now, that's a long time ago, so if any of you got, and if you folks remember that kind of time where you could buy a Penn Senator for really cheap, make sure to comment down below. Now we are jumping from 1936 to the early 60s when Penn added the Special Senators, and the Special Senators were fast, light tackle game fishing reels with extra power and a higher gear ratio. Let's jump from the early 60s now to the late 80s when Penn added the Senator to high speed casting model. So when these were added to the Senator family, the remaining original big game Senators were, were replaced by new models. Most of the original big game light tackle models are not manufactured anymore, but many of the later additions can still be bought today. The 13H has been through several changes. The first models did not have a clicker. The later ones, the clicker was added to this reel. So from that, here is what I figured out about this reel. This reel has a clicker. So that means, and it has a graphite design. So from what, from what I can tell about that, it means that this reel is made somewhere in the late 90s because after the 80s, they added a clicker. So it'd be somewhere in that time frame where this reel was added to the lineup. And that's pretty awesome. One thing that I did want to say about pen making the reels in the USA is that they did stop producing some of their pen senator models and some of their other reels in the USA and most of them are made in China but some of them are not some of the big game models are made in the USA still but just I will be making another video discussing pen making reels in China and pen and pens reels that are made in the USA so if you want to watch that video you just need to go over and head to the Saltwise channel we do a lot of cool stuff like this over there so make sure to go check that out let's start off with some line specs on this reel so I have 80 pound top shot and a 60 pound underneath 60 pound mono underneath and let's start off with the heavy pound of braid and mono so to begin with this reel can carry 650 yards of 80 pound braid and 270 yards of 50 pound mono. Now let's talk about the light side. So this reel can carry 440 yards of 30 pound mono and 925 yards of 50 pound braid. So one thing that I find interesting on the inside of this reel, it has two shielded stainless steel ball bearings. It has the three to five to one gear ratio. It weighs 28 ounces and the year it was discontinued, it was in 2009. This reel also has your carbon fiber drag washers, which is your HG100 drag. And this drag is amazing to go along with your higher gear ratios to be able to reel those fish up from the bottom really fast. That is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Make sure to go to our channel if you wanna see more content like this. But for now, we'll see y'all in the next one.